Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with a, another video. And today I wanted to do just a little mini um, skincare haul. I haven't, I haven't done like my full skincare routine video in probably a decade. <laughs> and so it has the process. I mean, I basically cleanse, tone, moisturize. That's basically what I do, but the products are changing all the time. But I did a little re-up. Um, on some products when Sephora recently had their sale and I'm also trying out some new products and I just wanted to show you um, what I got a couple of things that I'm excited about a couple of things that I'm curious about some things that I've had before and yeah let's just get into it so the first thing is um, cleanser so I typically have two to three different cleansers at any given time because I take my makeup off every single night. I use a different cleanser at night. So when I shower in the morning, I don't need as, I don't want to say as an aggressive because aggr the other cleanser is not as aggressive, but I like a, a softer or a more gentle cleanser in the morning. And so what I've been, what I've been using for the past, I don't know, maybe a couple of months, um, maybe almost a year is the Coors Foaming cleanser and what i really like about it is it's you know the scent is very soft it's a creamy consistency whereas the cleanser that i use in the evening is a gel cleanser okay but i really really been enjoying that and i think i got a sample of it early last year and then i bought another full size and so this is my second full size of this so i really really enjoy that um, I in the evening I double cleanse well let me say this if I've had makeup on that day because I don't wear makeup every single day if I've had makeup on that day in the evening I double cleanse so I have like a, a creamier like oil, oil based cleanser to take my makeup off then I go in with the gel cleanser but if I haven't been wearing makeup then this is what I use okay so now let's get into um i bought a little like sample kit that has multiple pieces in it let me pull all the pieces together because i just wanted to try some of this brand's skincare products so i think we're a lot of us are very familiar with like the laneige sleeping mask and i have some of those and side note this is so random like home goods cj max and marshall's have been selling laneige a lot recently and um I can't remember if this is where I got this set or if I got this set from Sephora. I can't remember. I do know that I got one of their larger water sleeping masks from, I think, Marshalls or Home Goods. But I got a little kit. This is a five piece kit from Laneige and it's skincare. It's not lip care. So, I mean, lip care is skincare, but you know what I mean. So, the first thing I got was this moisturizing foam cleanser. So I got this moisturizing foam cleanser and I, I really like this. I like that this is a size where I've been able to get several, several uses out of this. It is actually coming for the neck of this, right? So um, I don't, I mean, I have that, I'm gonna use that, but I really, really like this. Now the scent on this, it smells like water. I know that sounds crazy, but it's kind of like, it smells like steam, if you will. It's kind of like if you go into, and I heard Michelle Wong say this when she was trying to des describe something else. If you go into like the locker room of a spa by the pool, it doesn't smell like chlorine. It doesn't smell like chlorine, but it, it definitely smells like water, okay? And all of these products have the same scent, okay? So the first thing I got was the, uh, in that kit was the cleanser. The second thing was, is the skin toner. And again, it has that same scent. Now I use a rose water hyaluronic acid toner. I guess I'm gonna just have to do my skincare routine video. But I also use the Glow Recipe watermelon toner like to pat into my skin. And this has that texture where it's liquidy for sure, but it has a little bit of a, 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 it's like if it was, if gel was mixed with water, that's the feeling that I get from this. And so this almost gives me the exact same effect on the skin as the watermelon glow toner. So I really, really like this. And so I've used this a couple of times, um, not enough to give a full review on it, but I really, really enjoy this. Okay. So the, the other three things is, this is their water bank essence. 
and this is their moisture cream. I've only used these once, so I can't really tell you how I feel about it. But I will say that the moisturizer is like a cream gel hybrid. So it looks like a cream, but then it has a little bit of that translucent um, characteristics that a gel has. So I have oily skin and I live in Texas, so I like products like this that are not completely gel, but are not like a heavy, heavy, heavy cream moisturizer. So particularly for the daytime. Now I'll go a little heavier on my moisturizer at night because in my mind I feel like I'm letting my skin repair itself so I'll, I'll do that but so that's that and then I don't have I used the water essence the water break essence I don't think I have but if I had to guess this is probably like a serum so um that's that now I will have to say my favorite thing out of this five piece kit is the water sleeping mask okay and so this has a gel like consistency and y'all I mean you can tell that I've kind of I have dug in here a bit now I actually have a big tub of this that I actually bought before I bought this kit did not open it because I had other sleeping masks that I was still working on which I which I still do but I have really been enjoying this so I'm so glad that I have the larger water sleeping mask this has the texture of again that watermelon uh, the glow recipe watermelon sleeping mask but thicker so I feel like it's it, it uh, does a little bit more on the skin than the watermelon I mean than the glow recipe watermelon mask okay so this is a sleeping mask and listen I got excited you know with sleeping masks you're only supposed to do it like twice a week I think at one point I was doing sleeping masks like four nights a week and I was like girl calm down for you tear up your skin but really really enjoyed this okay so speaking of sleeping mask, I picked up this Sephora brand lychee slip sleeping mask. It smells so good. I anything you about to see with the lychee, okay? But I love lychee scent. I love the taste of lychee, okay? But this is also I've been really using this. This is thick, just like the Laneige. So I now if I had to choose between this. And the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask, I would choose this one. I just feel like, you know, it's still giving you that gel consistency, but it's thicker. And I really, really enjoy that. So, um, and I, y'all, surprisingly, I've really been enjoying Sephora brand products, particularly little things like this that I just want to try out. So, along with that, I picked up the Sephora Lychee Face Serum. I have not tried this yet. Obviously, this is a haul, but I did put some on some on my hand yesterday. And so this particular serum is supposed to hydrate and like plump the skin. And so I have these two, y'all probably can't see this, but I have these two little lines on my forehead because I'm of a certain age, right? And I put this on yesterday and I promise you I could not see the two lines. And then I put some on the back of my hand just to see. And I held my hand up side by side and I literally could see a visible difference. So I'm excited to try this on my face. But uh, again, I don't have sensitive skin, but I do like to be mindful about what I'm just throwing on my face. And so I always try to do like a little test patch. But this is the Sephora Lychee Face Serum. So with 96% or natural ingredients okay you guys know that's kind of important to me so keeping with the lychee thing okay and sephora brand products i picked up um a sheet mask let me tell you i think i fell in love with sheet mask in maybe 2019 so i was late to the party i really enjoyed the sephora brand sheet mask so i picked up their sheet mask in lychee smells just like the mask and then i also picked up their eye mask and so here's the thing because I like to do these about once a week just for fun like yes they're doing things for my skin but I really like like the experience of putting on a sheet mask and an eye mask so I picked up a couple of more of their eye mask which I also really enjoy and this is this is the pearl eye mask I think this is lychee is this lychee maybe not maybe I thought it was either way I picked up the pearl eye mask now the lychee conti <laughs> continues right I should have called this a lychee skincare haul I just 
let me tell you when I fell in love with lychee. So probably, oh, nine, ten years ago, I was teaching a cooking class and we made this coconut lime sorbet, but the base of the sorbet was lychee and I was hooked. Okay, so I picked up this lotion because I'm I am in the process of looking for a new lotion. If you guys have any recommendations for really good lotions, please let me know. Preferably if they're on the cleaner side or on the luxury side. And let me tell you why. While my face is very oily, my body is dry. Okay, when I tell you dry, dry, dry and mo dry so um but i picked up from fresh i picked up this sugar lychee body lotion with sugar and mango seed oil okay um i've used this a couple of times i'm wearing this today i find this to be a really lightweight lotion i've worn it a couple of times i'm not in love with it i can't let me say this i can't give a full review because i've only worn it like three times but i do find myself having to come behind this with like a body butter or shea butter or something like that because you know i like to, i'm chocolate i like to glisten okay i like to glisten a little bit and this doesn't give me the glisten it's very water based i think and not oil based yeah water is the first ingredient so i should have known better and it doesn't smell like the lip balm that i got from lychee which i mean from fresh in lychee which smells amazing so i got this um, fresh sugar uh, hydrating lip balm in lychee y'all I need all I need all of my lychee products to smell like this because this smells so the lotion smells a little tart and if you know lychee lychee is very sweet this smells sweet and what's interesting is so I've been using this now I'm not in love with products that I have to use my finger with but I really really like this okay and I like the fact that it's kind of big and flat because I had a small sample of a fresh sugar lip balm and I think it was a caramel but it was really really small and I had to like dig my fingers in that I love this so I keep this uh oops I keep this in my bathroom or on my vanity like it's not something I'm gonna put in my purse because I want my fingers to be clean if I'm gonna be sticking my fingers in here and when I'm out and about my fingers aren't necessarily as clean as they could be but it's it smells so good now to round it up, so that's all that I purchased but be, uh, you know what so I think I did get most of this from Sephora because I was able to use my points to um, get this which is um, the Beauty Insider box from La Mer. Y'all, I've never tried La Mer, and so I was curious. And so I had a decent amount of points. This this box, I think you have to have 500 points to get it. And so, you know, you take the sleeve off. I've already opened it up, but I have not used the products, okay? So Beauty Insider, and so it just opens up. And it just says, ah, the 500 point set. It's a beautiful thing, right? Curated by us, these little polka dot boxes are filled with some of the most sought after products out there from coveted classics to of the moment must haves. The best part, your beauty shopping got you here. So go on, dive in, you've earned it, right? So, and then it has it in French. So you open it up and it's got, you know, La Mer's signature green color here and a uh, a little sticker I've already opened it up now let me tell you these samples are tiny 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 but I almost have 500 more points and so if I love this I'm at well I'm considering just go ahead and getting another go wow can I speak English <laughs> I'm considering just getting another one of these boxes so I can have enough time with the product and enough product to see if I wanna invest in La Mer at a high level. And so when I say tiny, I mean tiny. So the first thing we have here is the La Mer Moisturizing Cream. Look, look, it's so cute, but literally, I'm probably gonna get three, two or three uses out of this. It has that very classic old school moisturizer scent to it like if your grandma had moisturizer it would probably smell like this okay so i got the moisturizer 
Then I got the concentrate and I'm going to look at all of these things up and see. It comes in this little box. Got the concentrate. So when I say these are these are teensy, 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 tiny. Um, but I don't mind using my, my points on it because why not? Um, so I'm going to look up on the mare site and just see, you know, what's the best order to use these in because obviously with the packaging and the samples being so small, there's not enough room on there for directions, right? This is called the treatment lotion, itty bitty box, like itty bitty, itty bitty box. Um, let's see here. Let's open that up. Okay. So there's the treatment lotion. But I am excited to try. I really want to know, like, what, what, you know, like, what's the draw with La Mer? And because, listen, I don't mind. For my skin, I don't mind, you know, investing. And then this is the Eye Balm Intense, okay? And so I have a couple of eye balms right now. So I'm going to wait. And that's the thing. I have, a, I, have a, I have a little drawer in my makeup storage kit or the way I store my makeup that keeps all my samples and so I have a lot to get through before I get to this even though I may move this up on the list so that is my little skincare haul let me know what are some of your favorite skincare brands that you enjoy let me know if you've tried the lamer or if you've tried any of these products and let me know like what kind of skin you have and what you think about it and also let me know if you have any recommendations for a really good body lotion um keep in mind i live in texas and it's hot okay and my i have i have very very dry body skin so with that being said uh Thank you so much for tuning in this video. If you want more like skincare, beauty things, if you want to see my skincare routine, either my morning or my evening skincare routine, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.